Oh, I'm live. Kind of on a day I'm not normally live. But I just went through all these and I just relabeled them. Um, the ones that are full bands are just, I'm making 10 bucks on. Hey, Alex. I am going to be doing a uh, mail call on this episode as well. I just got to grab my marker. Twins Treasures, how you doing? How you doing? Welcome to the show. I've been busy, busy, busy. I figured I don't have time to do a traditional video today. I'm uh, doing a lot of prepping, prep work here today. And I am going to unveil a mail call, too, on this live stream. So, Alex, is this from you? Just says Alex on it. <laughs> Hey, Charles Powell. Hey, Quackers. How you doing, my friend? Nice to see you. Um, I found out where to sell this. I'm going to take it to the gold guys. I mean, I'm going to take it to uh, Minnesota Gold Buyers. I asked them on the phone, do you have a gold tester? Yes. I told them I have an obscure piece of, per, I, we believe that it's bullion, triple nine, fine. Um, told them I'd like to trade it for some silver dollars for the show. Gonna do that tomorrow. Yeah, uh, I'll wait till there's a little more people in here, and I will. Uh, I will start opening these packages up. I'm just crazy busy. Um, I'm just gonna do these as constitutional. Um, I'm gonna do what they do at the shop at, at the show. Same price. It'll be twelve dollars per one dollar face. So I think that's that's what everybody's doing there. Yeah, hit the like button, guys. Hit the like button. Um, so I have some. I'm just going through some coins that aren't priced out. I'm re-looking at them all. It's just really time-consuming. Toned. I don't have a price on that. I'm just gonna let somebody buy it if they want it. Bu RPM, but I don't think that's gonna sell for that. I just got so much stuff here. I'm going to look at this right now again. Yeah, it's, it's really chewed up. Yeah, I'm just going to, I'm going to let this go for like 10 bucks or something. So I'm going to relabel it because I think I'm wrong. Beautifully toned. It's got a small RPM to it. What would shipping be for Mercury Dine for the Mercury Dines? Oh boy, I don't know. I'm just I'm just selling these at the show. Um, it's a grab bag. It's a grab jar. They can buy as many as they want. It's going to be twelve dollars per one dollar face value. There you go. Relabel that. So I have an RPM on this, supposedly. Let's take a peek at it. Oh, yeah. That is a nice RPM. Um, I don't know what these go for. There's no prices on them. Um, I'm going to say based on condition, I'm going to say $15 for this. But it's going to be, I think I might do pretty well at this show. It's one of the biggest shows in Minnesota. And uh, I'm going to be getting, well, I'm going to try and push people to, to buy my shirts. $10, they get 10% off. Hey, Rob Finds Treasures, what's up, my friend? Um, But on it, it would only work for up to $200. If they have a purchase of $200, I am going to... uh actually give them a t-shirt because 20 bucks 10 percent off is 20 bucks of 200 dollars okay let me reword that 200 dollars 10 percent off is 20 bucks the price of the shirt is 20 bucks no shipping it's just cash so i give them the shirt but if they buy only a couple things if they include buying a shirt they get 10 percent off plus if they're a subscriber i'll give them another 10 percent off 
So I might just clean up tonight uh, at the show. Might just clean up. Um, I'm gonna get to uh, let's see, where's my knife here? I'm gonna I'm gonna open up my packages. Oh man, where's my knife? Oh no. Well, I got a box cutter. Well, we have this from Alex Coin Roll Hunter. Let's see what he sent me. I hope he sent me a sticker because I love getting stickers. We're all on a sticker craze, my friend. Whoa. Dude, he sent me a dollar too. Make sure that's everything. Wow, thanks, Alex. Look at that sticker he has. Wow. That is cool. I've never seen one like this. Very, very awesome. Thank you very much. I really appreciate that. I'm going to put that up there. Um, Rob, you see what happened? My, my daughter, uh, I was going to give this away to somebody else. She got in my room and she peeled it and put it right there when you, I already have one for you there. Um, cause I'm saving space for, you know, somebody else. I, I'm not trying to, uh, uh, call you out on, or call my daughter out on that, but whatever it was, it was an accident and I'm sorry. Um, it's kind of a wasted sticker. Wow. He sent me a star note guys. So let's read the letter first. Coin roll hunter. Hey CGOM, thank you very much for all your great knowledge and share with the with this community. You have inspired many, including myself, to look for silver coins and errors. What you have taught us: number one, bug it. Uh, I'm sorry, I can't read your handwriting. Bug it low. Oh, buy it low. That's what it says. Buy it low. Search it sell it and uh, profit and then repeat. This allows you to get even more silver. I have enclosed a sticker for you and for a sticker trade and a token for all your help. Thank you a lot. Coin, uh, Alex Coinwell Hunter. Thanks, man. This is going to go in my folder because I, I keep all my letters. I, I, I know I thought it said bug. I'm like, I, I understood what you're saying. Bye. Why? Yes. Yeah, so you want a sticker? I'll get you a sticker, man. So we're gonna have to do a. Uh, I'll probably do this later, um, because I'm kind of busy right now. I maybe later in the stream. I just have so much going on, on my desk here. I have no room. Literally, I have no room. I got stuff everywhere here. I'm just trying to do a last minute sort on everything, but that's cool. I love star notes. You know. That's very awesome. Thank you. I'm going to have to put this. Uh, I'll put this over here. <laughs> All right. Thank you. And, uh, oh, yeah. Um, I, I really do uh, support everybody. So if you guys haven't checked out Alex Coinroll Hunter, please give him a, give him a, a sh uh, check him out. Um, it's not an official uh, 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 shout out right now. Um, I, I Everybody's on my top 25. It's just this week's just been so crazy right now. I want to get back to doing my traditional videos. Todd Miller. So we got Todd Miller. A big fan. I I remember reading his comments a lot. Let's see. Wait, is that any channel sticker? Whoa! Holy moly, those are neat looking. I remember seeing these. I think Lake House Beach got some of these. Wow. Hello, my friend. Oh, my. Sorry, my computer's timing out. Here are my channel stickers. I'll send you my magnet glow in the dark sticker when I get my next order in. Thank you for the trade, my friend. Oh, sweet. So I'm going to have to give him a sticker. I'm going to do that. Thank you very much, Todd Miller. Let's take. I'm going to. Where's my stickers? Where's my stickers? Where is my stickers at? I thought I had them here. Um, I'm going to put them in that envelope to mail out because uh, I have your address here. Uh, sticker. Where are they? Oh, I'm so unorganized. I wish I had a much bigger desk. My kids didn't take them. Um, let's 
This isn't funny. I'm not seeing the stickers. Good grief. Um, why am I not seeing the stickers? I got a whole bundle of them. Oh, no. Darn it. Darn. Well, I have one here. This is going to remind me to send you the sticker. I'll put it right up there in my mail slot here. All right. And then Alex. I just had your envelope here a second ago. Wow. I'm just an absolute unorganized uh, mess person right now. So anyway, these are some really neat looking stickers. Todd Miller, what a great sticker. Don't tread on me. Got this got the snake. Oh yeah, that's a like a a carved out um, well engraved buffalo nickel, I believe. Pretty sweet. Wow, thank you very much. I love those. I'm definitely gonna put those up. So I gotta get a sticker trade going here. And this is from uh, Isaac Crowley. So this is a coin roll searcher. And I have his sticker right there. I uh, gave him a couple bucks for some pennies. And actually it was pretty generous for um, what I got. I remember he just went bananas with the coins. All right. Mm. Making sure got everything. Yes. Okay. Oh, you got a nice little letter here too. Cool. I got ones just like that. Cool. Congratulations. You won something from one of my live streams or giveaways. Thank you for your support. It means a lot to me. And this is the reason why this channel continues to grow. Hey, CGOM, thank you for your donation on Sunday's live stream. And close our your finds and another channel sticker of mine. Thank you again, my friend. Coin Roll Searcher. Thank you very much, dude. So this is going to go in my uh, my letters that I keep in my folder. Because one day, I'm going to have an episode on just those. Oh, I got a different sticker now. Nice, very nice. I already have one for Coin Roll Searcher. Thank you, thank you, thank you. And these are my pennies. Oh man, that didn't work too good. It's a dull knife, trust me. Oh yeah, man, we did some we did good on these wheat bags here. Got a 1936 sweetness we have a 1919 i think he uh just did a a, a penny pull and got that 1919 and we've got 1945 sweet and 1928 wow he did pretty good with some old ones 1928 and then what do we got here? 19, oh, we got 1944. And then I got a bunch of 2009s, uh, some 2017s. I told my, if you have any nice ones, I'll take them because I'll look for the uh, DDR or the DDO on them. Hmm, I'm going to take this out of my jeweler's loop right now. I don't see anything on that one. That's just a normal one. Pretty, pretty cool. It's always that chance. 2009, got the log cabin. Thank you very much, man. Sweet. Thank you very much. So what else am I doing? Well, I'm just going to try and uh, flip these proof sets. Um, basically what I paid for them. See what happens. If I don't sell them, I don't sell them. Um, 1968. 
That's a full set, I believe. Let me take a peek, make sure it's a full set. Yep, and yes, a full set. I think those go for like $10, I believe. Maybe maybe they go for $8. No, I think they go for $6.50. No, yes, $6.50, that's right. They go for $6.50, I believe. So these are all silver. Proof set. But, yeah, people want them, they can get them. And, uh... So I got to be there at nine o'clock in the morning and set up. It's going to take me like an hour to set up everything. I'm put everything in categorize, uh, all dimes on one area, all quarters, in another area. And then I got constitutional picks right here. So all my, all my varieties are going to be in here, you know, like the micro ass. Look at that sweet thing. Whoa. What years, bro? For what? For this? Ah, uh, it's pretty much all of them from 1916 to 1945. It's just random, but they're all common dates, you know. There's nothing special inside there. Oh, the mint sets. Oh, 1968. 1968. You want, you want to see it? I'll see it. I think I paid six fifty for it. So, but I, I just bought tons of them like years, a couple years ago. Just looking for um, uh, conditional pieces, like something that I could grade. Um, I should probably look for uh, RPM on that on that guy. On the does not. It's not in bad shape. It's just a little little milkiness from the PVC, but point is I've already searched it for varieties and I'm just gonna get my money back from when I paid for it just for the hunt just for the thrill of the hunt you don't have one Yankee I would love a Franklin set um these are just proof these are proof sets they're not business strikes These are just in mint condition. Like, um, they must have been stored in a really good spot. They didn't cloud out. They haven't been banged around. They're in nice condition. So I paid thirty bucks for it at an antique shop. I'm just gonna sell them for thirty bucks. If somebody wants one, they can have it. So gotta make sure it's in the protective cardboard. There. Um, we have a sixty-two for. 39.50 and 39.50 also. They're very nice. Those are the uncirculated ones. Oh wait, this one's all pieced out. Uh, I can't sell that. So, yep, those can't be sold. We're just gonna gotta have a complete set. I think I took the quarters out. Doesn't matter what type, just want one. I have another 61 set of uh, proof set. And this is a US Mint set, 1961. Full set. And we have 1962 proof set. Well, first of all, I'm gonna sell what I can at the show then I'm gonna do an auction I just I'm just I'm not in the zone right now I gotta be I gotta do a couple hours of preparation before I can do an auction here so yeah these are ones I bought and I uh, I just examined them and then I just w which ones have full bands I just tack on like 10 bucks because they're still they're worth like 40 or 50 dollars graded I think it depends on the date. Some of them are twenty six bucks. Some of them are forty. Some of them are fifty, depending on what they have a grade at. Because I really don't know. If it could grade a sixty three, it's worth twenty six bucks. If it grades a mid state sixty four, it could be worth forty bucks. You know what I'm saying? Um, they're not graded, so I just I think these will sell like hotcakes because 
Look at them. I mean, they're gorgeous. Um, I don't know if that's a DDO or not. I have to double check. I have to double check all my stuff here. Oh, yeah, it is. You can see the motto. Boy, this thing's not going to work for me, is it? <laughs> it's really thick. So it's pretty cool. Okay, this is what I wanted you guys. Oh, there's my stickers. Haha. <laughs> Had them underneath that. So Alex Cornell Hunter's got to get one. So where's his envelope, Pat? Oh, let's put it up here. Whoa. So anyway. Honest opinion, guys. What what would this full book go for if I wanted to sell it? I mean, two hundred bucks maybe for the whole book. I mean, plus I got the whole set. Plus I have some uh, that are proofs. What'd you say, Ron? Going well. Getting ready to jump off soon to prep. Oh, right, right. I'm sure your your live stream take a lot of prepping. Oh, you're having one today. Okay, I'll make sure I'm done with my live stream by 6, so. But yeah, I got key dates. Copies of key dates in here. Um, 31s, 31s are in here. Um, what does that say? 21? Oh, 31. Jeez. Um, 31s, 55s. I just don't know. I'll just have somebody give me a best offer. I probably won't sell it. Um... Complete set. I just do best offer. But I'm still working on this. So that's not for sale. But I'm bringing it along just in case. I'm still working on this book. I'm only missing... Technically, I'm missing one. I, I, mean, I mean, technically, I'm missing two. But theoretically, I'm missing one. Because I need to get that verified. That 16D or it's a 16S. Yeah, later, Rob. You are my moderator, Brian. Yes, yes. It's nice to have an adult as a moderator, right? <laughs> I'm just, uh, we love it. I love all you guys. Um, I don't think I, I don't think I'd want to sell this. This is too. This book's too special to me. I mean, I could easily look around to see if I can find the other ones, and that's it. I'm only missing those three. So what do you what do you think about this book here, guys? This is a dance co album. I bought this from somebody that needed the money. I actually got it for a really low price of only eight hundred dollars. Um, it's a complete set except for the eighteen seventy seven, and it does have the nineteen oh nine S in nice condition. You can read Liberty. Look at that. Sharp details on that bad boy. I'd have to say that's EU. It's an EU coin. That alone is like a $900 coin. No problem. That coin, I actually have a much better condition one in my other book. That could be, uh, it's set to say 150 to 300 somewhere in that vicinity. I'm not sure. But all most of these are pretty common. What would you guys say? To him... Let me read yours. Yeah, I know. I'm missing 1877. Oh, I am missing two other ones. Um, basically, a variety doesn't really count. You know, an 1869 over 69. I actually looked at that. It's not the, it's not the 1869 over 69. I don't know why they put it in there. That's just the normal coin. Um and for some reason, I can't find this at a coin shop anywhere. They don't know what I'm talking about. 1864L. So basically, you get a lot of 1864s that are so worn out, the L is not even there anyways. So, um, But you know, almost every coin on this page is about $60 a piece. You could itemize this whole thing for 
for the entire book. So I'm going to do it for 1800 and see where, where it sticks. Um, if you're a subscriber to this channel, I'm going to, I'm going to keep pushing that. You get 10% off. Okay. And plus I'll throw in a free t-shirt or if you don't, I mean, we'll, we'll negotiate that. This is a negotiable item, but it's pretty sweet. This book, I'm not, this book, I'm not going to sell. But I have a really nice 1908S. That one's uber nice. And that 1909 is just crisp. Beautiful coin. But I'm still working on this one. It's got some potential. It's got some potential. Yeah, I'm missing a couple right there. 1862. Yeah, that's no big deal. We can get them. So I know these are RPMs and stuff, but I'm just going to, if somebody wants them, I'm just going to sell them for um, melt value, basically. I'm trying to find another jar so I can just dump a bunch of quarters in a jar just like so and just say, hey, man, it's $12 per $1 face. Should sell like hotcakes. I can always get some more in the summer. It's no big deal. No big deal at all. Same thing with these. We got Benjamin Franklin's in here. Got some more nice quarters in here. And I got tons of rolls of stuff. I mean, I have more in my safe uh, at the bank. But this is just what I have here. I think it's more than enough to have a amateur coin show. Oh, yeah. This one's gorgeous. Dang. It just doesn't have full bands. What a tragedy, huh? Um, that coin would be worth $8,000 if it had full bands. So it doesn't. So, And this belongs in here. So, Oh, I broke my rubber band. Doggone. Well. I got more. Alrighty. Yeah, it's my first show. I'm really nervous, man. Like, I don't know what to expect. But it's they're supposed to treat you basically like royalty over there. I'm gonna I'm gonna switch the views over. Uh, I have no room. There we go. So they, they provide you if you if you're thirsty they give you beverages um they give you a table they get you a bunch of uh, chairs um I'm gonna bring my lamp with me it's a little extra light I'm gonna bring extra jewelers loops for people that need to want to look at the stuff before they buy it and I'm gonna wheel and deal I know some of my stuff may seem to like it's it's priced a little too high you know like uh, like this for example eight bucks who's gonna pay eight dollars for Roosevelt dime well it's a lamination error appeal but the thing is, I don't know what to charge. But the point is, if I sell for more than $1.50, I'm making money on the coin. Um, if somebody offered me, hey, man, I'll give you 5 bucks for it, I'll be like, sold. You know, that that's the way I'm going to wheel and deal. And I'll be like, plus you need to be a subscriber to my channel. You can have it for 5 bucks. So that's a legit. I mean, I just looked at this one. Like, you know, like a coin like this, I can negotiate. I mean, it's not a legitimate uh, grading company, but it is an 1878S, and we believe it is Mint State 63. Very good, so. Um, but the coin is worth 100 bucks if it's graded by PCGS in Mint State 63. So I got it for $80. And I think I paid like 50 for it, but you never know. Micro S, quadruple S. I know I have my quadruple um, restriped uh, 1964 quarter in here somewhere. I know I do. I mean, I got buckle piles of stuff in here. It's just, this is laying on a table. Um, these are all my uh, double diaverse uh, Kennedys. So, 
they're for 30 bucks a piece but like i said i'm willing to negotiate because i only got five bucks in each coin it's my time to search through and and jackpot find it you know if somebody wants to offer me 15 20 bucks for it they're at the show sure i was like hey if you get a sticker subscribe to my channel things are going to happen in the next couple of days i think i'm gonna get monetized i'm gonna be monetized by the 18th of march i believe so what else well i'm still wanting another jar i think uh, i have a old jar of pickles that i'm just gonna dump out and uh wash it and take the label off and i'm gonna put quarters in it so. but i got rolls of stuff people can look through it all the time you know but so i think they, they give us free admission at about 10 30 in the morning and uh we're supposed to be up i'm assuming breakfast so from 9 a.m till 10 30 is my prep time to get my stuff all laid out there are security guards there there's two at every exit and there's there's two outside the building to escort you in and escort you out with your merchandise so you don't get robbed it's just it's totally safe and uh we're supposed to they're going to give us a complimentary dinner with some more it's what there's it's supposed to be just spectacular like um it's at a ball a ballroom um, so supposed to get hors d'oeuvres and drinks from like six o'clock till eight o'clock. So basically I'm going to be there from nine o'clock till 8 PM. That's a long day, 11 hour day. But then the rest of the days won't be so bad. I'll be like, uh, I have to have my hour of prep time to get my table situated. Then the doors open and, uh, and then, then we go from there. So it's be pretty cool. I'm kind of nervous, guys. I've never been to a coin show in my life, and I don't know if I can handle talking to people a lot. <laughs> I might be able to. I think I've grown up a little bit. <sighs> I'm so used to working by myself all the time. And to be working and there's like 5,000 people all around you, like, it could, it could freak me out. That's why you have to be in pairs. So it would be me and the guy... <laughs> And uh, as long as we're together, it's great. If we need to go use the restroom or something like that, or we have to leave for any reason for a little bit, somebody's always going to be there watching the merchandise. That's why you have to have two people go at the same time. Um, I'm actually, I don't have a cashier's box, but I'm just going to empty this thing out. Since I bought this at an antique shop, and I'm just going to put cash inside of here. Uh, I'm gonna go break a break a hundred dollar bill and uh, get ones and fives and tens and uh, I got buco piles of change. I can just uh, take what I need and uh, so I can break break a dollar or whatever or break a twenty whatever. Um, everything's all cash there. I don't have to worry about credit cards or checks. Checks could bounce, um, but I still have that option. If somebody wants to pay with a credit card, they can go on my PayPal account. Because I'll get the money first. Then they can have the stuff. That'll work. I don't know. Maybe there's other people that do have. Um, they do have PayPal. But not quite sure. I'm trying to find that retain strike through that I have. Because um, that price is going to change. But that's why I have all that. That's why I have that hour and a half prep time. Because once I start laying this stuff out, I'm going to find it. I just don't have the room to lay this out. There's way too much stuff in here. But I think I got some pretty legit prices in here. Pretty legit scores in here. I'm, I'm pretty happy. So, is there anything else you guys want to talk about at all? Or? Because I want to send that sticker to... I gotta find his uh, envelope here. Alex Coinwell Hunters. I just don't know what I did with the envelope five minutes ago. Oh boy. Well, I got his letter. But trust me, I'll get I'll get him one. Because I'm a man of my word. 
I still haven't got around to get one too or somebody else. What what? CGM. I'm gonna do great. Thank you. I'm really nervous. Um this is kind of thing like a con a, a, a really good idea for me as a contractor to do because we make buco buco piles of money in the summertime and then the wintertime it just kind of just goes from way up here to like down to here. I mean the the running costs for my company, I'm Basically, on the average, I'm I'm about two thousand dollars short a month, or maybe twenty five hundred a month short. But that I was gonna profit one month, but then I end up buying thirty five hundred dollars more with the silver dimes. Then that tanked me, and then the next month we were able to make all our expenditures, but it t I tanked again. So that's why I saved my money. I'm just like. Rob finds treasures. He's saved his money. He's got two or three years worth of earnings saved up. I had the same thing. I could write a check out, not have any money coming in, and it's going to clear. And that's why the guys that, that work for me, they really, they really like me because they never have to worry about a check bouncing. They always got a steady paycheck and security. And so I told them this is probably a really nice thing to do during the winter time because when we paint we don't get a lot of extra stuff to do like i could be getting phone calls to do exterior painting and decks and fences to stain if we have a little bit of a lull period doing our new construction i'll just right there boom fit that job in bang it out get it done get paid do another one bam get it done get paid then i'm back on schedule with another job touch-ups exteriors interiors Total redos, whatever. Um, in this in the winter time, we just had maybe one. We have like two, maybe three houses per month, and one of them's big. The other ones are kind of small. The other two are kind of small. Doesn't really help us too much, but hey, it's work. It keeps us it keeps us fed. But I have to watch my money, you know. Um, I'm always gonna deficit. Okay, I just try not to deficit too much. Um, Uncle Sam's taking a big old chunk out of me, but gotta pay it. Oh, my cat just is not bothering me. Oh, here's my other pack of stickers. I haven't opened these yet. Uh, I'm not sure if I should bring these. Kind of want to save some for some other people. Yeah, I gotta. What should I do with this gold? I gotta make sure I take it with me tomorrow when I go to work. I'm just gonna I'm gonna put it right here in my little there we go. I'm keeping this door locked because I'm still working on stuff in here. I normally have everything all locked up in a safe, okay? So I just got all these other things back from the bank, from this my security deposit box, because I had all these packaged and taped up. So I'm changing changing things around right now so this stuff's in my house right now for a couple days i'm really nervous about it so um i'm gonna lock it up somehow but i have a lock in this door and i hide the key but it's not gonna be here for too long thank gosh thank gosh Yeah, I'm hoping, uh, I'm going to do like 4000 in sales, I'm hoping to. Because the smartest thing to do, and I was talking to uh, Still in the Cirque, I'm like, what's your consensus on, uh, on the gold? If I trade that gold in, I'm telling them I want silver dollars. And I'm like, or should I get a 1909 SVDB? And he was thinking the exact same thing that I was thinking. Buy the Morgans, buy the peace dollars, junks, junkers, just like these rolls I have here. Because these would fly off the shelf. If I can get them at Minnesota Gold Buyers for, say, 15 bucks a piece, because they normally sell $12 per $1 face. So if I can get a couple rolls of these, I can sell them for 20 and then if you're a subscriber, I take 10% off. So now you're only paying 18, which doesn't sound too bad. Those would sell a lot faster. And I'd probably profit a little bit more. So it's making the power of my investment of that gold higher. Then after I sold 
all the silver dollars, then I can go walk around and buy that 1909 SVDB. That's smart thinking. Let's think the exact same thing. I'm going to do that. But here's the other here's the other thing here. I just don't think all these are going to sell. They're mint condition, double diaverses. You know how much money it would cost me to send all these into grade? I'd have to send one in just to sample it to see what PCGS is going to do or NCG, NGC. These coins graded is 160. I'm selling for 125. But I don't think anybody's going to want to buy one just because they're too expensive. People are going to, people don't want Mercury. They don't want their uh, uh, Roosevelt dimes. I can't believe how many I have in here. Oh, wow. 1942S DDR. Where's my, uh, where's my loop? Why well, can't I find my loop? Good grief. I just want to double check. There it is. Haha, <laughs> put it back in my box. Now, what's the DDR about this? This is something I found last summer. And as you know, I know a lot more about coins now than I did then. That is not a DDR. What was I thinking? Let's just scribble that out. Scribble, it's not a DDR. Just, you know, we'll just put it for uh, two bucks, huh? 250, 250. 42S, it probably won't sell. Nobody wants a 42S. Whoa, what? If you're looking for a baseline on variety pricing, do it by percentage through the market research. A great site is Heritage to check sold prices. Exactly. It's like where whatever people will pay for it is what it's worth. But like I said, you know, I got a dollar twenty per coin if I sell it for twenty bucks and somebody's going, okay, I'll buy it from you. I just made eighteen dollars, you know what I'm saying? Yep, that is an that is an RPM. I got a 1943 RPM. Let's check it out. Yeah. Definitely. All these are RPMs. I'm right. Yeah, that's a really cool RPM to the east. So I got it for 10 bucks. Okay. I mean, melt value. What is it? Two dollars and eighty cents, three ten, somewhere in that range. You know, newsmatically, these just fly off the shelf for three dollars fifty cents. I buy them. I'll sell them by the tube. I'll sell them by a bag or whatever. I'll, I'll probably have a bag deal. All that constitutional silver that's going to go right now. People are going to buy it right now. It's instant money. Um, I've already searched through it. So what do we got here? A really nice coin. Nineteen sixty four D over D. AU 50 RPM to the south. Oh yeah, holy cows. That's that's blazing. Okay, what do you say? I check what other specific varieties sold for. Let's say they are going for 20%. I would list it at gray sheet for uh, for the coin for 25% above that they are for the variety. Hmm. Yeah, but you know, a lot of coin shops don't do that. They just sell it as it is and make a profit. Then it's usually up to you as the consumer to cherry pick it and find that good stuff like I like to do. I, I find stuff all the time at coin shops. It's insane. This is why I have all this stuff. It's like I just go look through all this stuff. I'm like, oh, yep. Yeah. Yeah, that's an RPM too. Triple S. 1945 Triple S. Oh man, yeah. Holy cows. I'm putting this on my microscope right now. 
16 bucks. I think this is worth it way more. This thing's sick. Come on, come on, come on. Computer's so slow today. <laughs> Where'd it go? I'm waiting for it to pop up. And there's my email. Oh, we gotta. We have to adjust the thingy. It's uh, it's right here. S going here and the S going here. It's crazy. I just can't see anything on this microscope through the plastic, but through the the US the my jeweler's loop, it's so defined and sharp and crisp. That's a coin I'm probably gonna look up right now. Just like D Jeep said, because I think I am totally undervaluing that coin. Undervaluing. So let's go to So let's go to Heritage. Heritage auctions. Yeah. Let's see what a triple S mint mark's worth. HA.com. Let's see. So I have to register to look at everything? Hmm. I understand. <sighs> browse, browse items, yeah. Current auction items, yeah. Let's see what they got. Oh, wow. So can I uh, do a... What was that? A 1945. S over S over S. Let's see. Let's see what... A, it's actually um, an over mint mark. Hey. Sorry, there's no matches. Well... Well, can I, can I just see something? Just coins. I want to see coins, not paper money. They got tons of paper money. Okay, let's go dimes. Oh, yeah. I type in dimes, and I get, quarter, and I get dollars. Holy cow, it's cool. I like that one. Wow, the Tony's blazing. Wow, is that cool? 16D, mid state 64, 9,500. That's it. Got little thin coins. They'll sell you a, a very fine one for $5,000. Um, wow, the 16Ds are crazy. Ooh, 1921. Nice. Cool. I think 25. I don't see any like varieties for sale. Ooh, ooh. Huh. Silver Rev. Harshly cleaned. Yeah, with sandpaper. Haha. <laughs> ooh, they got, there's a plug in the center of this one. Right there, I can see it. Hmm. But then again, it's not certified, so. Uh, I'm changing the price on that. That's that's worth way more than that. I'm gonna say I'm gonna say forty bucks for it. What? Look at your thirty S in mid state six mid state seventy. Thirty S. I know it's not that expensive. Mid state sixty five. It was like uh, they don't, they don't have one here. They don't have one here. What's up? I just want to let you know if you're hungry, there's dinner. Yeah, I'm starving. Alright. I'm gonna eat and then I'm gonna go on uh, Rob live Rob's live stream. Well, I'm still doing mine, it don't matter. I'm just chatting. Just chilling. Just redoing some stuff. Yeah, we're gonna have to say that's uh 
40 bucks that can haggle me down. I mean, I got a dollar 10 into this thing, dollar 20 into that coin, so why not? It's not certified. Um, there's some coins I just won't sell because I need to grade them because I think I'd be I'd be hurting myself big time. What else we got that's obscure and different in here? Um, wow. I'm not sure if this is a Minstay 67 though. Yeah, it could be. Wow, it's mint. Yeah, it's got an RPM on it too. Full bands too. I think it's going to grade a 66 actually. But like that, that's something I probably am not going to sell. Somebody could look at it and be like, they're not going to buy it. It's 350 It's not graded or nothing. It's just the way it is. People want to buy the cheap stuff. I got lots of cheap stuff. Oh, well, here you go. Here's a dime I just missed. $3.85. Um, I'm going to determine whether it is a AU coin or a mint state coin. It's got a lot of scratches. I mean, a lot of tiny little scratches. Hey, Bullion Pouncer, what's up, my friend? Doesn't have full bands. I'm just going to leave it at 385. It's it's not nearly as nice conditions as those other ones I got. So I'm just going to, as a matter of fact, I should probably pull it out of here. It's going to be a quick sell. Wow, the toning on this one's just stellar. 1954S. And it's repunched. Oh, wait. MPL. Misplaced mint mark is what I got it for. Oh, yeah, the S is like right on the torch. That's crazy. But the toning is just gorgeous. I'll put that in there. Well, these are just really expensive dimes. Eight dollars for this 1952D filled in mint mark. It's cool. I'll negotiate. What's up, NATV man? I'm just, I'm just double checking my uh, my work that I've done. I just don't think a lot of this is gonna sell. Ooh, 1941S over S WRPM-001. FS501, best of variety. Very good 20. Let's take a peek. Oh, yeah. Holy cows. That S is just sticking right over the top. I'll put it on my microscope so you can see it. Yeah, I got it for 25 bucks. So weird how I can't see it here. But on the dealer's loop, there's an S, there's another S. It goes way out like this. It's it sticks way out. It's in the shape. Oh yeah, you know what? I'll just use this extra light. Let's see if we can see it now. Look at that. You see that S sticking out of the S? That's the best of variety. And you can see it on the top left, that tail sticking out. Yeah, that's sweet. That's worth some money, and I should put that in the box. I'm going to sell stuff. Oh, five bucks for that. Filled in mint mark. Filled in mint mark. Do it. Here's the DDOs. I don't think anybody's going to want them. I'll just keep them there and say, hey, they're DDOs. They're worth some money in their mint state. Hmm. That's a tough one to say that that's an RPM. It's super nice condition, but the reflectivity of the metal is making it so tough to, to see it. 
I can see it backwards like that, but it almost looks like machine doubling. So I'm just going to keep this here. Um, wow. Yep, mint state. Well, guys, those tacos upstairs smell so good. I'm so hungry right now. I'm going to get a couple minutes here to look through the rest of these coins. 1934D filled in mint mark. Yeah. That's cool. Some kid will buy that. 45S Micro S. Oh, yeah. That's the Micro S. See, back then I didn't know what it was worth. I got it for $4 here. It's uh, sort 20 bucks. Yeah, I got this really nice one I got from the uh, coin show, uh, the coin expo. That thing is super nice. Where is it? Uh, DDR. Yeah, this one. That's a nice 1945S micro S. That's for my collection. The ones that I found are not nearly in good condition, but that one's worth about 35 bucks in that condition, but these are worth about $20. Um, there's not much of a dip in price for condition on that variety. It's it's basically starts at 12 and like good four, and it works its way up to like 20, 23, 26, 30, 35. You know, it, it stays in that range. It's it's not like it, it, it really, really spike in mint condition, like mint state. Well, that's a good find. That's why I'm here, guys, and I figure might as well make a show out of it. Oh, wow. 1944 proof. It's a proof. It's been in circulation. How do I know? Boy, I just, the reflectivity of it and the contrast of the fields and the toning. It's got that cobalt blue toning. So nice. It is nice. I'm glad it was in there. I think that's it. The rest of these are Roosevelt's that are double die of verses. I mean, these are all double die of verses. Tons of them. But it would cost me a fortune to send them into grade. Um, so I got to keep these locked up for now. What I'm going to do in the summer when the money starts rolling in like crazy. I'm going to take one of the, just one of these and grade it and see what they'll say it is. So if it's a sure thing, because it's only on Wexler's double die listings, I have the exact same what it says with all the uh, the die markers and everything. And it was so easy to find them. Going to do one. If it grades out a double die verse, I'll start sending out tens of them at a time. So guys, thank you for watching. I know it's not one of my best live streams because, you know, I'm doing um, all this extra paperwork and uh, no extra work on my dimes and trying to get stuff sold or getting ready for sell. Oh, yeah. I got a dime that has that has no date on it. Three strike through error. I remember seeing like a penny, like a 1955 penny on eBay sold for $18 because it's only missing one number on the date. So since this is a dime, I'm guaranteeing that if I sold for more than 18 bucks, it's going to sell for 18 bucks or more. Uh, yes, I'll be on Rob's. Don't worry. I I'm just... I'll probably do another thing tomorrow on this. I'm still going to be working on it. I just... I just don't want something on my table and I'm like, oops, sorry, like I, I made a mistake. So that's why I'm so nervous about this show because there could be some real experts that have a big old wad of hundreds. And if they if they, they think I'm a phony or something, I'm going to be like really uh, appalled. But I'm saying if people aren't looking for varieties. I got plenty of constitutional stuff that. People just buy for cheap.
Mm -hmm. Here we go. It's labeled. Um, what's this one? D over D. Let's see if it is. So you got a 42 D over D. Take your time, friend. That's right. I'm spending the next two days. I'm going to spend a couple hours making sure I get everything right. Um, I'm going to take that coin, that piece of gold. I'm going to take it to Minnesota Gold Buyers. I'm going to get some more silver dollars or uh, silver eagles. Or I prefer if I can get silver dollars super cheap, I'd take them. Because I just want some coal, some coal dollars. Just, you know, they're worn out. 1922s. Buy those. Just because they're silver dollars. Oh, yeah, that's a really cool RPM. Great to the south of the D. All right, guys. Thank you very much. I'll do another live stream. And then uh, Thursday, I'm going to do Silver Dime Variety Time number 22. So catch you guys later. You may have some